Hello everyone, my name is Gabrielle and I am an enrollment counselor at Holy Names University. I'm going to get us started here with a presentation about our wonderful school and I will start us off with our slide, We Love Oakland. So Holy Names University was founded in 1868 by six sisters who came down from Montreal, Canada to start a school for women and children because at that time, school was and education was not accessible to all. Um, we are now located in the Oakland Hills, right here where my mouse is hovering. That is an aerial view of our beautiful campus. We're really cute and quaint, uh, quaint little campus set up in the Oakland Hills. And Beyond that, you can see the greater Oakland area, the bay, which is the water at the top, and across from that water is actually the city of San Francisco. So we have a really fantastic view of San Francisco from our campus. Um, you can actually see the Bay Bridge, the skyline, and on really clear days, you can actually make out the Golden Gate Bridge. It's very beautiful and very relaxing to look at at that view. Um, with us being located in Oakland and in the Oakland Hills, we actually are pretty centrally located to a lot of different um, opportunities for students to take part in. We're right next door to Berkeley, right across the Bay Bridge from San Francisco, like I said, and a short drive to San Jose and Silicon Valley. We like to think that we are really centrally located in that respect, that we're so close to different places. Um, there are a lot of opportunities for students to get jobs, start their careers, and also gain just like wonderful experiences in the rich and wonderful culture that is Oakland. Oakland is very diverse, it's full of food, music, art, beauty. It's a really, really wonderful and fantastic city to be a part in. And we are able to, to really contribute to that with our wonderful university. Right here is a map of the campus. So you saw it from that aerial view, but here is a little bit about like where, where buildings are and what buildings are. Um, the buildings labeled M and O, those are where our dorm rooms are located. And then the buildings labeled G and I, that's where classrooms are located. So students are able to wake up 10 minutes before class, get ready and walk down to the I and G areas and still make it on time for class. It's very convenient for students. Um, it helps them not waste any time. They're able to really um, you know, commute from class to dorm to class to the library, which is the building labeled F there. It's very convenient for students. Here's a little bit about our student population. We have about 1,014 students in total on our campus. We're a pretty small school, but we're happy to be um, small and mighty. We have an eight to one student to faculty ratio. So for every eight students um, we have on campus, there is one faculty member on staff. It makes for really personalized relationships between students and their professors. Students really get to know their professors and likewise professors really get to know their students. Um, you're going to be sitting in classrooms that are probably about on average 13 students per class. So it's a really small intimate setting. You can have discussions, you can raise your hand in class, get to know um, the material really well through your professor. And you won't have to be a seat in a classroom, you won't have to remain mute and just take notes and not respond or say anything. You actually get to engage with your peers, engage with your professors in these small classroom settings. It's just a really fantastic way to learn um, and to really get involved in your own education. So with us being such a small school and having these wonderful personalized relationships with professors and students, we can really boast that we have no impacted majors. So students don't have to wait around a semester or two to make sure that they get the class they need to graduate on time. No, students are able to get the classes that they need. They're able to plan out when they need to take them as well with their academic advisors, who I will talk about in a future slide. Um, and it's just a really great great opportunity for students to not have to wait around to graduate on time and to keep on track with those non-impacted majors. And we are also, like I said, just a really small campus that's full of community. And we've actually been ranked previously in the US News and World Reports for most uh, ethnic di ethnically diverse campuses in the Western region. So we are still very diverse in our student population. We have a lot of students from different walks of life, different backgrounds, different cultures, different countries. It's a really beautiful melting pot and students are able to learn about other students together in this small setting. Now here I come to a very popular page, a very important page, which is our majors page. So this is our academic programs list. All the different majors that we offer are listed here. Students, if you're watching this presentation, please take a screenshot or a picture. This is where you're gonna find out what you wanna study and how you can study it. So um, 
I will let students take a look at this, but I will list our really popular majors at Holy Names University. Those majors that are really popular are going to be biological sciences, business, criminology, liberal studies, which is our education a major where you can learn and be a teacher. Uh, nursing is of course super popular and then psychology. Those are our more popular majors on campus, though we do have wonderful other majors that are available to students. Um, if you see a major on here that is of interest to you, please keep in mind that we are not impacted. You will be able to get the classes you need to study this major and graduate with this major. If you are interested in anything on this list, remember to apply to Holy Names University. I will talk about some other great things about Holy Names that will hopefully um, you know, pique your interest. Here we have our learning beyond lecture slide. This is basically where we where we can really support students. So um, this is all the different resources that we have to offer to students that attend Holy Names University for inside and outside the classroom. Academic advising, like I mentioned before in a slide or two ago, um, academic advising is a wonderful department. This is um, the department where you'll meet and be assigned to an academic advisor who will help you plan out your class schedule every semester. So you meet with an academic advisor once a semester, so twice a year, through your whole college career. You are not going to be alone when it plans out your class schedule. You're gonna be paired with someone who knows exactly what classes you need to take, when you need to take them in order for you to graduate. Your academic advisor is gonna be a great resource to you. You're gonna get close to them. You're gonna to get to know them. They're the person you're gonna tell your dreams, your aspirations, your career goals to. So please know that um, you have that as a resource. Your education is why you're going to college. It's um, what you wanna learn and why you wanna learn it. If you find that you wanna switch your major, you can talk to your academic advisor. If you find that you wanna make sure that you're on track, you can talk to your academic advisor. It's really easy to meet with them and you are required to meet with them. So you won't be lost every year. Um, this is just something that I wanna point out. Not all schools offer such close knit um, academic advising um, appointments. Sometimes you have to wait around at other schools to actually meet with an academic advisor once. Um, whereas at Holy Names University, we try to make that really seamless. We try to make it accessible to students. You're able to meet with an academic advisor because it is required. We also offer disability support services. If you need extra time for a test or you need someone to take notes in a class for you, um, or you have any sort of learning disability that you just want to have extra support in, the Disability Support Services Center is there for you. And then we also have the Center for Social Justice and Civic Engagement. As I'd mentioned um, at the beginning, the genesis of our school was really on the basis of social justice. We wanted to make education as accessible as possible to women and children at that time. Of course, um, we are co-ed now and we have um, this wonderful college that is Holy Names University. Um, and we still wanna carry on that legacy. We wanna make sure that we are uh, championing and advocating for marginalized groups. We want our students to be uh, service oriented and to really learn about the communities that they are in and to contribute to those communities. We hold a wonderful mission trip in the spring break um, to Tutwiler, Mississippi, where students are able to build homes with Habitat for Humanity. Um, students have gone to the Mexico-California border before to learn more about injustices there. There are just a lot of opportunities for students to get involved, to really entrench themselves in ways that they can help. Um, help you know, with, with different um, things that are going on in the world, help with the um, help with students and, and communities beyond Holy Names. So it's a really wonderful center that we're proud of. We also have tutoring services available, of course. They are completely free. We have a math lab, a writing studio, and tutoring for specific classes as well. Students are able to take advantage of these um, tutoring resources. If you need extra help or support in a class and you um, want tutoring, it's completely free to you. Just reach out and we'll be able to get you set up with a tutor. Um, we also offer counseling services. So there's a counseling center on campus right near the dorms. So if you feel like you're going through something personally or you're homesick or you need just like help with your mental health, we offer 10 free counseling sessions to students. Um, 
that's a really wonderful and generous offer that we have. Students are able to really hone into what they need um, and what resources they need to, in order for them to better themselves and to feel better about themselves. Because college is a really um, difficult transition. So we know that students may need someone else to talk to during, um, during college and during your time away from home. And then lastly, we have a career services center. So this is the uh, career center where you're going to seek internships while you're in school and also look for on and off campus employment. We do have on campus employment. Students are able to work on campus. We do have students working in our admissions office right now. They're fantastic, our student ambassadors. Um, so if you're looking for on or off campus employment, the career center is where to go. You can also go there when you are on the precipice of graduating. So if you're about to graduate and you're looking for a job after college, the career, uh, career services center is where you're gonna wanna go as well. Now we've moved on to dorm life. So it is fall 2020 currently as I speak. I do have students living safely on campus. We've made all of our dorm singles so that can happen um, with social dis distancing. And um, we do have dorms on campus. So students do live on campus, it's not required. Um, and the different dorms that we offer are singles, doubles and suites. So there are common spaces in these areas. There are laundry rooms. We do host some wonderful activities um, with a re resident services department. They're able to host wonderful socials, gatherings off campus and on campus. It's just a really great way for students to convene and get involved and um, get to know one another. And then with you living on campus, you will also have the option to have uh, meal plans. So we do offer two different types of meal plans. Um, one is the 19 meals per week meal plan, and then one is the 14 meals per week meal plan. It's really, the difference is really just the frequency in which you wanna eat at the cafeteria. If you wanna eat at every meal that we offer in the cafeteria, then you can choose the 19 meals per week. If you wanna eat two meals a day, so mostly like breakfast or lunch and dinner, then you can choose the 14 meals meals per week plan. Um, this is just, you know, we have some fantastic food on campus. Our admissions office often eats at our cafeteria on campus because the food is just that good. Now I've come to clubs and organizations. So students are really able to get involved at Holy Names University. We are a small campus, but we're able to get our students excited about um, staying on campus and just getting involved. Um, there's a list here. I will list a couple of them. So we have ASHNU, which is our student government organization. We have BSU, Dance Force, Latinos Unidos, Loud and Proud, and the option to start your own club. So starting your own club at Holy Names University is pretty simple. I like to use this example a lot. Dance Force was a club that started with just two students and the club grew in popularity so much so that every year it garnered more members and it became so large that it eventually at one point became a one unit course on our campus. That's the sort of legacy you can leave behind at Holy Names University. And that's the sort of just power that students have. They're able to implement change on our campus. They're able to really, um, bring forth their interest and share it with others. So if you feel like you wanna start a club on Holy Names University's campus, it's a club that you don't see on this list, please start when I do encourage it. Now, athletic programs. So these are the different sports that Holy Names University has to offer. We are a division two competing school. So we do compete and we are part of the PacWest Conference. So if you are interested and you're a student athlete, please check out our HNU um, hawks.com website, which is our athletics and sports website. Again, that's HNU hawks, H-A-W-K-S.com. And you'll be able to see our different sports there as well and our different stats. We do also offer athletic scholarships to uh, student athletes. So if you get recruited by a coach, there's a potential uh, opportunity for you to receive an athletic scholarship. Now we come to financial aid, the most important slide. So Holy Names University is a private Catholic institution, um, but we are actually pretty affordable. We want to make financial aid um, we understand how important financial aid is and we wanna make a private school education as affordable as possible. So nearly 100% of our undergraduate students that get accepted do receive financial aid packages. Um, and these are the different forms in which they receive them in. So 
upon getting accepted, most students will receive a merit scholarship from Holy Names University. A merit scholarship is going to be based off of your GPA, your transcripts. Um, for my fall 2021 freshmen, so those seniors in high school right now that are applying, we will be test optional. Um, so it's just going to be based off of your GPA and uh, your transcripts. So if you get accepted with your GPA and transcripts, you will receive a merit scholarship that we'll be very excited to award you with. And then um, there is a second scholarship that Holy Names University will award students if they fill out their FAFSA. Um, so the HNU award is a need-based scholarship contingent upon you filling out your FAFSA or DREAM Act. So please fill those out. I will be sharing our FAFSA code um, in the next slide, but you do have the opportunity of receiving two scholarships from Holy Names University because we, again, just want to make um, this school as affordable as possible to you. You can use those scholarships on top of each other. So they do um, combine and they do renew each year. So it's a really wonderful thing that we like to offer students. We just want them to know that we take their education seriously. And so we do want to reward them for working hard um, to this point that they've reached. We, of course, like I said, also offer athletic scholarships. So that's really um, based on your coach. And then there's the opportunity to receive grants. So we do accept Cal Grant and Pell Grant. Again, please fill out your FAFSA or DREAM Act. Um, the FAFSA will help determine your eligibility for these. And if you are receiving both of these grants with your merit scholarship and HNU award, I've oftentimes seen students be able to cover all of tuition. Um, that is kind of common. So if you're able, able to be eligible for Pell Grant and Cal Grant, and you get your two scholarships from Holy Names University, you can cover almost all of tuition at HNU. Of course, we also accept outside scholarships. And if you are interested in a Parent PLUS loan, you can discuss that with your enrollment counselor or with the financial aid office. Now here's how to apply. So I'm so excited to get all of the applications from those who are watching this presentation. Um, we are available on the Common app and our HNU website. So we do have our application in two different places. Um, one application does not favor her one over the other, so please apply at just one. You can apply on commonapp.org if you're already on there applying to schools, or you can apply on hnu.edu slash apply. Our application is completely free, guys. It's completely free. There's no fee waiver needed. Again, we are really grounded in social justice. We want to make our school um, as accessible to students as possible. And so we've made the application free. Um, again, there's no um, letters of rec. There's no um, personal statement required. We have a pretty simple application. We just need your official transcripts for those who are coming in for fall of 2021. Um, we're hoping to be test optional in the future completely, but I just wanna say for right now, our fall 2021 students will be test optional. We just need your official transcripts. Of course, I also have our FAFSA code listed there, like I said I would. Our FAFSA code there is 001183. Please fill out your FAFSA and add Holy Names University to the FAFSA so you can get two scholarships from us. And this is where you can find us. So we are located, um, well, our events are located at hnu.edu slash events. So please type that into your web browser and look us up that way. We are virtual right now. So this is the best way in which you can find us, hnu.edu slash events. We are hosting a virtual open house. We do have some wonderful info sessions and we also hold financial aid workshops. If you wanna check those out, go to hnu.edu slash events and filter to admissions events so that you're able to register for whatever is to your liking. And then I want to plug our HNU admissions Instagram. That is HNU underscore admissions. Please give us a follow. We do post some great tips and tricks there. We also post um, some reminders about deadlines and we just post some great content. So give us a follow there so you can keep up to date with us and we can keep up to date with you as well. This here is the path to becoming a hawk. You're gonna to apply to HNU after watching this presentation. You'll receive a financial aid package after you send us your FAFSA. You'll submit your enrollment deposit after you get to know our school a little bit better um, and you, you decide that you wanna to come to Holy Names and then you register for classes. And during this process, you'll actually Again, like I said, be prayer, uh, prepared and um, paired with an enrollment counselor. 
So someone, either me or Leo, Gabe or Marcus, those are the enrollment counselors for freshmen. You'll be paired with one of us and we'll help you through this entire process. You do not have to go at it alone. We'll be with you every step of the way up until you're basically sitting in a classroom. So with that, I want to leave you with my contact information. Again, my name is Gabrielle, and I am an enrollment counselor at Holy Names University. That's my email there, and that is my work cell phone listed. If you have any questions, feel free to call or text me. I do text my students often, um, and I can also point you to the direction of your enrollment counselor. If I am not your uh, assigned enrollment counselor, I will point you to either Leo, Gabe, or Marcus. They're all great. We're all excited to get to know you and to have you apply to Holy Names and um, just to connect with one another. It's going to be great. Um, you can, again, follow us on HTNU underscore admissions on Instagram. That's my last plug for our Instagram. But we just want to make sure we're connected with you because we want to make sure that you know that you have an option here at Holy Names University. I do want to thank you for sitting through this presentation. If you're interested, feel free to give us a, uh, um, an application. It's completely free, like I said. We do look forward to getting to know you and working with you and supporting you on your educational journey. Thank you so much for joining us. I will sign us off here, and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your time. <laughs>